Pope Francis was elected Pope at the age of 76. He is now 84, and his health is remarkable. In the almost eight years of his pontificate, he has made more than 30 international trips and endured an intense work schedule. However, aging is inevitable, and in July 2013, he confessed that his worst memory of the first months as Pope was a painful sciatica. La cosa peggiore, mi scusi, che mi è venuta, è una sciatica. Davvero, ho avuto il primo, me, il primo mese, perché per fare le interviste mi, mi sentivo, eh, mi accomodavo in una poltrona e questo mi ha fatto male, è una sciatica dolorosissima, dolorosissima. Non si la auguro a nessuno. Sciatica is a painful enemy, and at the end of 2020, the Vatican announced that this pain prevented Pope Francis from presiding over the Te Deum on December 31st and the Mass on January 1st. Sciatica is a type of pain, sometimes very severe, that starts in the spine, which branches from your lower back area and can spread along to one of the two legs. The causes may be many, but their common element is that they compress the nerve, and this pain is felt throughout the leg. Dr. Vicenzo Cesa is a specialist in the field and explains that the first phase of sciatica, the most painful, is the one that impedes any movement. He points out that many elderly people suffer from it because of arthrosis. Usually, the severe phase lasts a few days, two or three. Then it gets better, although recovery can take one, two, or three weeks. Despite having sciatica, the Pope did lead the prayer of the Angelus on January 1st. The pain prevented him from performing long ceremonies, but he seemed to feel strong enough to make his way to the Apostolic Palace from Santa Marta, although he remained standing still. Pope Francis suffers from hip problems, so he has difficulty moving his legs. In 2016 in Poland, he stumbled during a celebration, but with no serious injury. In 2015, his then spokesman, Federico Lombardi, had confirmed that he receives physical therapy sessions. Five years after his resignation, those who shared his final moments as Pope, his friends and the Vatican spokesman, give us the full story. We recall the most important times of his life in first-hand accounts by his brother and friends. They range from his childhood in Nazi Germany until his retirement in the Vatican Gardens, without forgetting his glory days, proclaimed by the people. Benedict XVI, in honor of the truth.